Oh, this is the story of how this movie almost never happened. Oh, really? This you movie never almost never happened because I was at a point where my professors, well, they really critique it because it's grad school, and I wasn't used. To, you know, I've, this is my first time in grad school. They really tear your film apart. Like they're not being mean. They want it to look professional, and they're preparing you for the real world. You know, that's their job. So the point is, I had basically been turned down twice. Alrighty. Is the camera even on me? Yes. No, okay. it's not. No, it's not. Okay. So basically, I had um, I had uh, been turned down almost how many times? That when I started it, it was uh, I was nearly turned down twice. This was, this was after the second time I was turned down. Right. For pa for a passing, and I said, you know what? I might change my subject halfway through this because I didn't think this was going to work. I was having these doubts about Where the film. Was, yeah. So about I said film? the film itself, and I said maybe oh. I should try a radio piece. Where? What was the pivotal moment in that? In the that moment video? came when I went to an event at the Museum of the Moving Image. Okay. And I saw the event and I thought it was pretty cool. I, th I like the public access producers, you know, and stuff, especially when they, they, they told the history of public access through the gaze of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. So they stuck to one station. Right. So I went to see it and I remember George Stoney was there. And George Stoney um, was basically on camera on MNN, he was part of a panel because there were some producers and they had to have the father of public access television there, right? Right. And he was on one of the board of trustees, I think, for MNN. So he went there and I remember that he completely <laughs> I don't I don't want to say tore it apart, but he he was not impressed. He expressed how unimpressed he was with the event on right. camera. And people were very concerned about it. But it got me to think about how I was approaching my film. I was trying to look for people who were entertaining. But I had to realize that there just, there just wasn't an entertaining quality only for public access. There had to be a, an advocate side for it too. And that's what George Stoney was trying to say in that meeting, in that event. He was disappointed that only the so-called, you know, entertaining or crazy producers got shown. But not the disabled audience, not the, the advocate audience, not the government meetings. That became the pivotal moment where I said, you know what? I really got to approach this film from two sides. There are two sides to this entity. And that's what got me started. So that's really what, how the, that's what, really what pulled this film out of the fire, basically. Otherwise, it would have been something else. Right. It would have been something completely different.